Welcome outside. You can celebrate Black History Month with a special exhibit telling our story. The Legend of Africa Town is opening at different locations starting this weekend. We have Robert Battles, the curator, and Jerome McNeil, the photographer. Thank Guys, thank you so much for being here and especially for bringing all this fantastic stuff. Can't wait to talk to you all, all about it. Thanks for being here. Well, I certainly right. appreciate the opportunity and it's an opportunity to tell our story. Well, let's start with you're holding something in your hand right there. Let's start with that. We're talking about the history of Africa Town. We recently found the Crotilda over in uh, where the Sunset Limited went down. But the history of Africa Town not only deal with the Africans who were brought to America in 1859, uh, they were enslaved, but they were free because Dr. Carter G. Woodson in 1926 said that the Africans who came on the Crotilda in the midst of Jim Crow, segregation, and reconstruction, they built a free community. The history with the Clotilda is so rich and inspiring right, right now. Right. People are taking so much time to look further into it. It will be wonderful to see what all transpires from this point forward now that that discovery has been made. Uh, tell us a little bit about all these works well, of art we have here. Well, these what pictures. I have here are pictures that I shot. The picture on my immediate left is Barack President Obama at the 50th anniversary march in Selma at the Pettus Bridge. The middle picture is of the president's inauguration. The picture here is John Lewis at the Edmund Pettus Bridge. But my most recently, and actually my better ones, is Vice President Harris, where the one on the left where she's accepting the nominee, and the one on the right is where she was, her first official oath, where she was taking the oath. And the star of this is Miss Gorham. There are a couple other pictures from the Cotillia that was seen on 60 Minutes to give you an idea of what life was like for the slaves on the Cotillia. What Robert and I hope to be able to do is do photographs and lectures to be able to connect the Cotillia to today. It's important that we tell our story. Unfortunately, his story has been different, to be a bit more candid. So I want to take this opportunity to explore what we can do, what our role is, and how young people can, can benefit from yesterday's actions today. And one of the ways of doing it is through photographs and uh, lectures. And the photographs that you brought this morning, I think, do a great job of linking exactly what you're talking about there with some history in Alabama, in the state history, some regional history with the Clotilda, and then also what's taken on in the world nationally as well. So linking all these things together, telling the story through pictures. So let's talk about there's three events coming up. Tell me a little bit about that. Okay, the three events that we have planned, on next Saturday we will be at the... Uh, the, the Tomerville Public Library, the Virginia Dillard Library in Tomerville. And now from one to four, we have an exhibition so that you'll see a great array of art and black history so that you can see the culture. Uh, Marcus Garvey said, if you don't know your history, it's just like a tree that has no roots. And then we're gonna be at the uh, University of South Alabama next week. And then we're also, we're gonna be at Grace and Truth on Davis Avenue, that's the 26, which we don't have on the schedule. Okay. And then we're gonna also have uh, an opportunity to be at uh, Williamson. Yeah. Williamson, Wh Williamson High School. <laughs> that's right, Williamson High School Thank is February you, 23rd, February 24th is at USA, and then you just announced that event on the 26th as well. So several opportunities to come on out and see this fantastic exhibit. Guys, thank you so much. If they'd like more information, uh, Robert, we have your phone number That's here. Is correct. that what you wanted That's to call? Correct. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put that on the Studio 10 tab at fox10tv.com so you can reach out to learn more. You can see the date and times of these on your screen and just fantastic works of art with these photographs, but also more impactful, the storytelling elements behind them. Guys, we really appreciate everything y'all do. Appreciate the opportunity. One of the things that I hope to expand on, particularly at the shows, is more art because I'm limited. Because the most impressive thing is the Peace and Justice Museum in Montgomery, and I have a story to tell. Can't wait to hear it. You can hear it in person when you're coming out to these events coming up. You don't want to miss it. Thank you all so much, fellas. Appreciate y'all. Thank appreciate you very much. You. We appreciate uh, the opportunity. Have a good day. And have a awesome you too. Thank all you. Right. <laughs> all right.